Welcome to Landria Anka on YouTube, here to help you break through fears and live an awesome life. Do you believe that's possible? Do you? Probably, probably know it, but you may not be feeling it. If you don't feel it, not going to show up. Not going to show up. Because you're the one ordering it. And if you're not feeling it, that's your order of the universe. It's not going to happen. I'm going to do, I want to do a video just for you to make you feel good. Okay? That's all this video is going to be. You know, I try to have different ways for you to control the bad thinking, to know that you have faith, to manifest, to um, practice meditation. You know, we talk about a lot of different things. It's really just badly in our own uh, density is all it is. You came here to experience, so let me share something with you. All these things that we name bad are not bad. None of it. It's us making choices so that we can learn things or because we haven't learned things and we have to continue to learn things to understand that you have the ruby slippers on. You always did. You could have gone home anytime you wanted. That's all these experiences are. And how awesome is it to achieve things when you have struggled? That's the beauty of being human. Some struggle is what makes the achievement so awesome. And that's the beauty of humanity. Now, we take it to levels that we don't need to. We suffer. I'm here to tell you, you don't have to suffer. So I want to share something with you. You are absolutely walking around with the power of the universe with you right now. The power of the universe. There is no situation that you are in that cannot be turned around. None. Even if you were terminally ill. Now, what happens is sometimes we make choices to leave this planet or we make choices to physically suffer. We learn from those things. So don't name it good or bad, but when you're done learning, are you done with whatever you're learning right now? You can say, okay, I've had enough. And you don't have to suffer anymore. Whatever you're feeling right now, you do not have to feel anymore. How? Because I'm here to tell you all of it can change. And you are in control of that. It is not outside of you. Your life can be so different than what you imagined if you choose. Your life, if you don't like it now, can be something so incredible and so totally opposite to what you're experiencing now that you don't like. And you get to choose. You have to believe it. And right now, if you're not feeling good, if you're not feeling happy, if you're not, if you're worrying, if you're not fulfilled, if you're lonely, if you're feeling lack, all of that can change. All of it can change. I know you like hearing this because you want to know that that's true. Don't want to know it's true. It is true. It is true. Come on, bring it on. If anybody wants to argue with that, bring it on. If I don't like what you say, I don't have to post it anyways. Because <laughs> I don't want other people to read anything negative that's just not true. And I love your opinions, but I'm telling you right now, all things are possible. All things are possible. Ask Anita Morjani who was in her last minutes, who crossed over and came back cancer-free, who had huge tumors all over her body and had no chance of coming back. 
Ask her if all things are possible. Ask even Alexander, who had a 1% chance of living, and if he did, would have come back a vegetable because his brain was so shot from spinal meningitis. Ask Eben, who went over to the other side and was told things that we cannot possibly comprehend. Ask him if all things are possible. And that when he saw and felt what was going on outside of his body, he knew that all of the restrictions, the, the sadness, the suffering, is all us doing it and that all that power is out there and when you connect to it all of those wonderful beautiful things can come to you. What are you experiencing right now that you don't want? You have control over it. I don't want this. Well then don't do it. Do you have bad health? Are you taking care of yourself? Are you overweight and you don't want to be? Nobody's holding you down and putting food in your mouth. Nobody's putting liquor in your mouth if you don't want to be an alcoholic. Nobody's making you take drugs. Go get the help you need if you have to do that. And there are some people who've just quit. They've just made a decision. They understood that they actually wielded that power. And not everybody can do that. They're not ready to do it. Or they don't want to do it. But I'm telling you right now, no matter what your situation, are you struggling with money? That's the big one. You could turn that around. Are you looking for answers? They're all around you. I'm not talking about begging. I get, a, I get that a lot. I get people that want money from me. Like that's going to solve anything. They don't get it. They're not getting it. They're not getting that they have the ability to do that themselves. And that somebody giving them something doesn't solve the problem. That they wield that power. And that things can happen that will blow your mind. Money can show up. Opportunities will show up. You have to take that action. A lot of people don't take action because they just don't believe that what they're doing will actually work out. So they'll try stuff and they criticize it and they quit. Are you one of those people, you're a quitter? I'm not a quitter. In fact, I'm one of those people that probably should quit sooner than I do. I always benefit from it, though. I always get something out of it. You're going to be okay. You're going to be happy. In fact, you can be happy right now. Whatever situation you don't like right now, Know that the universe is turning it around, and if you accept that, it's going to show up. And that's all you have to do. Know it, and accept it, and then be at peace, and allow it to show up on its timeline. You have everything available to you right now. Do you want to turn any, anything around? Anything? Do you want to meet the person of your dreams? We, we just did that over the weekend. We went to the most bizarre remote place in the Georgia mountains. Went in to have a cocktail and listen to a band, me and my friends. I sat right next to somebody, the only guy probably in the entire place that my girlfriend would ever want to date. I struck up a conversation and we were all supposed to come back to Atlanta and all go out for dinner. So my girlfriend and I bugged out and so that my one girlfriend would be alone with him. So they went out last night and it's just an incredible match. And they're going out this weekend and they're already just, they just know it's right. She was so ready for that. She made room for that. She had faith in that. She never questioned it, and it happened in the most bizarre situation. It wasn't anywhere near where we live. 
random. The universe will show up. It will do things. You could go to, you know, another country and that one, one person that may live in your next town will come sit next to you and be the person of your dreams. And then you both come back here and you get married or whatever you do. The universe will make it happen. Don't question that. Oh, that's so crazy. Don't question it. Question nothing. Don't question the things that are happening in your life that are helping you to learn that that's what you don't want. Are you done with it? Are you done with the suffering? Are you done with being broke? Are you done being lonely? Are you done struggling with your self-esteem? Are you done feeling bad or guilty? Or are you done feeling uh, horrible about abuse that's happened in your life? Or somehow you were responsible for that? Hell no. But part of that was your journey. Don't name it. Part of that was the journey that you needed to do to take on this, in this existence, in, in this body, at this time. Use it for the most positive things. Use it. Don't be a victim. You're not a victim right now. You're experiencing something. You're done with it. You're going to be okay. The universe is waiting to send you all the love, the prosperity, the health, the joy, it's waiting to send all of that to you. Do you accept it? Yes? Do you believe it? Do you? Do you have faith? It's done. Just wait for it. I accept it. Thank you. And then every day I want you to get up and thank God, the source, the universe. It's all the same thing for all the beautiful things that are coming into your life now. Thank you so much. And then start paying attention to what's showing up. If Mr. Wonderful sits next to you, you got to talk to him, right? So, you know what's funny? The first thing I said to my girlfriend is, I said, I just... That's, I said, you, you're, you're going to go out. That's your husband. I said, that's your husband. And we're joking around, and it looks like that could be the case. I'll keep you posted on that one. Everything's going to be okay. Have faith in that and start to feel good and know that it's done. And just relax. Just relax, all right? A beautiful, beautiful world and life is right here for you when you're done, when you're done with the other stuff. You're done suffering? Okay. Good. Let's go into the fourth and fifth dimension together. All right? Sending you light, love, peace, prosperity, abundance. Abundance is flowing to you right now. Accept it. Namaste.